Before going on learning more about Moose, let's see how we lay out these uh, files and how we test this. So as you can see, uh, I have these examples, this uh, subdirectory per person 00, in which there are the example files in some di subdirectory. Within there, I have the lib subdirectory, and in there, there is the module. Next to it, there is the script side subdirectory, and within then there is the script that uh, I showed you. Actually, probably uh, this should be the, in the example directory, because it's not really a, a script, and it's just an example showing you. The tests in, are in next to them in a T directory. So if I go to the next slide, here you can see that there is a T directory next to the other two, and within there, there is a file called 01name .t, is the T extension. That's what, how unusually test files are written. Test files are just regular Perl scripts with a slight different way of how they are working. So the, the standard syncs at the top, and then we are using uh, loading the module, the test more module, which is the testing framework of Perl, and then we are declaring how many unit tests we are going to run. That's in order to check in the end it will automatically check that we actually really ran those two tests. The first test we are doing is checking whether we can load the person module into memory. So we, we call use OK. That will try to load via use the, the person module, and if it's successful, then it will print OK, otherwise it will print fail, uh, not OK. The next thing we, we are trying to test whether the constructor works. So we call the constructor, assign it to some variable, doesn't really matter, and then we check whether th that variable is a person object. So that's how we are using, first of all, okay, use using the module and then checking whether the constructor worked. The way it works, we switch to the console, is now, so if you can, if I type uh, ll, then you can see that the, these are the three directories here, and, and within that, within the T directory there is this uh, script. Now I can run Perl minus I lib. I have to tell it to, to look for the modules within the lib directory and then I tell it the name of the script and uh, then it prints out the standard top output. Or better to use the proof and then uh, say minus l, which does the same as minus i lib, it uh, adds the, the lib, that's a special feature of proof, that it, uh, it knows that you're talking about the lib directory, and you don't even have to give the name of the script, you can give the name of the directory, and if there are several test scripts inside, it will run all of them. In all cases, there's only one, and uh, that's how it prints, so it prints out uh, the the result of the of the to the total result of the of the running of this test uh, script and then uh, some general more uh, information about your test run so that's how you test to write a test now obviously if it was a real large application then probably i wouldn't test such low level things because uh, i just assume that moose works i don't have to test moose itself but for uh, or uh, uh, course and for the slides I added the test and I'm going to show them during the uh, upcoming videos.